Sider Central Lab is the first lab to be accredited uh, in Zambia uh, for ISO uh, 1859 uh, by Saticas. Uh, we have been in existence for 16 years and uh, our core business is in three parts. Uh, we are in service where we will provide uh, ART uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Health. Uh, this is uh, supported by the uh, PEPFA uh, through CDC. Uh, the second arm is uh, uh, research uh, because that was the backbone and, 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 and the origin of, of ciders. The third arm that we do is the commercial arm. Uh, the commercial arm is about 2% of our business. Mainly this we do it to make sure that uh, we are able to leverage on our uh, overhead cost. Uh, so the commercial arm is only provided for test that we have extra capacity uh, in addition to the test that we provide for research and uh, a service for ART. At the sample reception, samples come with the drivers. We receive them here. We sort them from here. As we are sorting, we are checking for IDs that are on the tube and on the request form that is sent from the clinic. After that, if everything is correct, if there are no any discrepancies, the requisition form are taken to the assistant to enter in the system and the samples are put on the labeling station. Data entry station, we generate labels which are barcoded and these are the ones that the machines use to test. Then after entering, we take the samples to the labeling station where the person who is responsible ensures that the sample, the demographics on the sample, as well as the labels and the requisition form are similar. If there are any discrepancies, those samples are queried again and uh, the rejection form is filled in. This is our results area where we print our results from. So what happens is that all the re results that are printed here are validated before they are printed. And after validation of the results, the drivers get to pick the results and distribute them to various clinics. So in a day, we print the results two times, that is in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, the TB lab as well as uh, microbiology lab at Ciders uh, handles samples for both uh, clinical microbiology as well as tuberculosis. Uh, for tuberculosis diagnostics, uh, we do ZN uh, microscopy as a screening test. We have the capacity to do fluorescent microscopy as well. Then we do culture on both midget and LJ, and the bulk of our samples are mostly sputum for culture, but we're capable of doing uh, culture from CSF, from aspirates, we've done biopsies, and a varying range of other samples. Uh, we have the gene expert uh, that is able to do molecular testing for TB. Uh, this will give us uh, results within two hours um, of processing for both uh, whether it's TB or not, as well as give us results on rifampicin resistance. Welcome to chemistry department. We are a team of four biomedical technologists, and we have four highly automated equipments. So this chemistry department is divided into three sections. We have uh, immunochemistry department, general chemistry department and the serology department. The chemistry department, we have a wide range of uh, chemicals and enzymes that we test. So these enzymes or chemicals show us how well organs are operating in the body. So the general chemistry tests are divided into three panels. So we have kidney function tests, liver function tests, and electrolytes. So on the immunochemistry department, we test both female and male fertility hormones, as well as inf infectious diseases, which is mainly hepatitis, and one tumor marker for prostate cancer. Serology department also includes uh, RPRA tests and a wide range of ELISAs. So we can test uh, HIV 1 and 2 combo, uh, TB quantiferon, uh, Hep simplex virus, and a wide range of enteric pathogens like adenovirus, 
Campylobacter and Rotavirus. This is a hematology bench. Uh, it's combined with flow cytometry. So for hematology part, that's why we do some uh, emo tests and the differential count as a tool to monitor the response of the patients uh, to treatment. Uh, under flow cytometry, uh, that's why we do a cluster for differentiation, which is CD. So we do CD4, CD8, uh, CD45, and uh, CD3, which is equally a tool to monitor uh, how patients are responding to treatment. Welcome to Virology PCR2. This part of the lab basically deals with HIV type 1 viral load monitoring. It is not diagnostic. Uh, and basically we employ the use of uh, different molecular level uh, technologies and uh, assays. Uh, the basic flow of work is sample preparation that takes place in the safety of the bar safety cabinet right where I'm seated. And uh, we have quite a number of instruments right behind me, as you can see, as a hologic panther. And then we also have the, the Cobas uh, instruments. So we basically do uh, HIV type 1 viral load monitoring, although the instruments are configured to do different uh, types of uh, tests for Zika virus, as influenza, mm -hmm. uh, cytomegalovirus, hepatitis B, and and many others. Uh, welcome to the CIDAS lab uh, server room. Uh, this is where we are currently hosting the laboratory information system that uh, controls or manages our automation of uh, lab uh, instruments and uh, lab uh, workflows of processing samples. The server room uh, hosts the laboratory information system and also it hosts another software that we normally use to give uh, external uh, clients access to labs, which is called TD Web. The, the highly automation of the lab depends on the servers. Thank you for visiting CIDA Central Laboratory, where quality is our priority. We look forward to you scheduling your training, or just visiting our lab, we have the capacity to also store your samples. So please call us at 097-3500606. If you have any queries to your results, you can also email us at our lab QA at ciders.org. For operational issues, please contact us at 097-123353.